Good morning, good morning, family. Welcome back to another video, right? The T on MPD and relationships. Hey, y'all. Happy Saturday to you. Hope y'all rested well last night. Everybody is good. Okay, so welcome back to another video, y'all. The T on MPD and relationships. So, of course, before we get started, you know, I always invite your family. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow button. Come follow me as we discover our destinies to my new subscribers and new followers. Hey, family. Welcome, y'all, to my tribe and family at large. Listen, welcome back. Thank you all for visiting my media resource and finding value in something that I have to say. I appreciate your time, family. And if you like the content that I am bringing to you, why don't we let the YouTube community know? We can do that by simply hitting that like button. It gives our tribe and our family right here on the T, y'all the greatest opportunity to grow so you know i always mention our thursday night live streams y'all thursday night live streams yes indeed yes indeed okay so i would love to see you all listen we have an excellent time on thursdays um wanted to of course mention that and uh, invite you all out. It's at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that is 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursday nights. That is 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, that is 6 p.m. Mountain time and that is of course 5 p.m pacific standard time so i would love to see you out on thursday nights family lots of great energy conversation information revelation come on you name it we got it jumping off everything that's good and positive and scriptural okay we got to jump it off uh, on the live streams so family let's jump into this video okay i wanted to bring this topic especially we need to especially keep quiet um about this these particular things you don't tell a narcissist these things because they will only use them to torture you okay and i'm bringing out this topic because a lot of times when we are meeting people you may not realize this, but people will bond over things that they dislike, okay? They have a commonality with things that they dislike. And a lot of times people will bond over those things. You gotta be so careful, family. This is why I tell you, stop telling your business, okay? But you gotta especially stop saying these things to people that you don't know. Because a narcissist will take, they will initially, they will pretend to dislike the same things that you dislike, okay? They will. They'll pretend to, oh, you don't like that either? Yeah, I thought I was the only one. You know, I don't like that either. Blah, blah, blah. And and then you just, I mean, you just telling it. I mean, you just, I mean, and I'm, listen, I've been guilty of the same thing. I mean, we just be talking, running our mouth, just got diarrhea at the mouth, okay? Telling everything. But especially telling your dislikes, the things that you absolutely hate. Okay, you're like, man, I hate when this happens. I did, you know, this and that. Okay, so let's move on down the road. You now you with the bird. Okay, you with the Chinese crested. Okay, now you are those same things in the beginning that you told this bird. I said it and I mean it. Okay, because I'm so tired of people tell i mean you you literally we literally give that bird all of the information that they need to torture us you would never think in a million years that the person that's supposed to be loving you the person that's supposed to be there fighting with you and you know what i'm saying and, and i mean y'all think y'all fighting for one common cause you think y'all on the same page and this is your straight up arch enemy the very things that you tell them that you dislike is the very things that they are going to use to torture you. You tell them, and I'm going to tell you, this is how petty they get with it. This is how petty they get. Y'all get into an argument. 
okay you get into an argument you may tell them you want the grass cut and you like the patterns on the grass you know what i'm saying you like the, you know you like for them to go out there and cut it cut it you know where you can see the lines and i don't know whatever the very things that you tell them that see you you told them that you like that right you don't like it when people go out there and just cut the grass and and it look all crazy and the lines going and the the shrubs are cut and they cut a different type of way. You t that's exactly what that narcissist is going out there to do. Okay? And even if you had somebody to come out there and cut it, the narcissist, if you got a if you got a lawnmower in the in the garage or whatever, they're going to get out there and run all over the yard and mess it up. Why? Because you told them you didn't like it. You told them you don't like yo you if if you tell them that you don't like the colored clothes washed with the white clothes, that's exactly what they're going to do. And 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 you know what? And here's the crazy part about it. Sometimes they don't even have to be mad at you to do those things. They want to do it because it drives you insane. It continues to keep you in those lower vibrations so they can attack you. So, so you will be open for the spiritual attacks from the demonic realm. I'm telling you, family, this is how these birds operate. Ducks, they some frogs, okay, with, with capes on, okay, and, 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 and they don't even have no shoes on. I mean, you know, just walking or just just hopping from one pad to the next, literally, because that's how they are from house to house with the cheating and all of this. They, they will absolutely take everything that you dislike, use it against you and use it to torture. You tell them, I don't like to go to this. Time. I don't maybe you don't like a certain type of food. And they'll tell you, oh, I forgot. Now you tell you, this their night to bring home dinner. Or their, their night to cook a certain type of, you know, to cook dinner or whatever. What they're going to do is they're going to, uh, they're going to uh, cook or bring home what you don't like and then gaslight you and tell you you never told them that. Yeah, this is what they do. This is what they do because, see, uh, the whole mission and purpose is to continue to get reactions out of you. That's that's why I'm giving you all this information. Stop telling them what you dislike. Stop saying that to people that you don't know because these people want to get in. And then especially when they see the passion that you have about what you don't like. Because, I mean, let's face it, family. A lot of times the passion that we have comes out of the things that we don't like or that we don't want to see happen to other people. And this is what the narcissist uses to, uh, they use it against you, family. Yes, they absolutely use it against you. You tell them you don't want to, you don't, you don't like going to, uh, you don't like the vacation in places that's cold or you like to vacation or vice versa. Maybe you don't like to vacation in places where it's really, really hot, tropical. Wherever you don't like to vacation, okay? Oh, well, I thought it would be great to go and try it. I know you said that you didn't like it. Yeah, they booked that vacation because you said you didn't like it. And guess what? When y'all go on that vacation, they're gonna be drawing tons of fuel off of you because you're gonna be sitting there miserable Yes, you're going to be sitting there miserable and, 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 and that's why they did it because they know that you're going to be miserable and the whole entire time, all they're going to be doing is sitting back <laughs> like it's funny. You got to stop talking about what you don't like. Stop bonding with people over dislikes. Stop bonding with people over things that y'all have a common dislike for. They don't need to know what you, I mean, when you first meeting somebody, they don't need to know your business like that anyway. Just listen to them. Talk about things that you, talk about things that are just common. Things that are happening in the world. See if you have a common interest with that person. See if they can hold an in-depth conversation about the things that they claim y'all have in common. This is how you get to know people. They don't need to know the negative things about what you don't like and what you and all of that. They don't need to. That's none of their business. They don't they don't know you well enough for you to be jumping into those types of conversations because family, I'm telling you, if you tell them your business like that, you will you you will be very sorry. You will be very sorry.
because this is what they're they're going to use this information against you if you tell them that you have a problem with this type of person or that type of person guess what when you get into a, when you get into an addiction ship with them this is exactly what they are going to absolutely bring around you these are the people are the types of people that they're going to triangulate you with if you tell them you don't like that back burner supply that you always been had a brow raised about, you can best believe that that person is going to absolutely become a, a part of y'all conversation at least once a week. Because that, that narcissist is going to get some fuel off of that. They love to hear what you dislike. If you tell them don't go in there and put this in the refrigerator don't 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 put the milk in the freezer because i don't want to have to defrost this is this is the kind of insidiousness that they are in, they engage in don't put the milk in the freezer because every time i do want to use it i don't want to have to unthaw it before i go in there oh i forgot i forgot i was just trying to preserve the milk and i just put it see they don't they don't drink the milk like that so it don't matter to them one way or the other or they did they have a different type of milk that they like it don't matter to them one way or the other. The milk that they like stays in the refrigerator, but the one that you like, they like to always, they, they seem to forget and always put it in the freezer. Yeah, because you asked them not to do it. <laughs> you told them you don't like it. So this is what they gonna do. You tell them you don't like the blinds a certain way in the house. This is what you tell them. You don't like the blinds a certain way in the house. The way that you tell them you don't like it is the way that they're gonna go do it. You are dealing with a toddler family. Keep your dislikes to yourself. I talked about I talked about the fact that you need to keep your business to yourself and stop telling your business. But see, a lot of you will bond with people over things that you don't like. And the narcissists and toxic people, they use these things to absolutely get under your skin. They use these things to torture you. And you can't understand for the life of you why they keep doing everything that you ask them not to do. It's because you gave them the information. You gave them the and You can't understand why they keep doing things that you don't like. It's because they want a reaction out of you. And family, a person that wants to always keep you in an uproar about something. I already talked to you about how petty they are. You're dealing with a three-year-old, a person that has an emotional intelligence of a toddler. You are not going to, this person is not going to, they're not going to, they're, they're not, they're not trying to, to make your day pleasurable, especially after you done hit that bump in the road. They're trying to find every reason to keep you off your square every reason and see this is one of the ways that they do it is to take your dislikes and use them against you stop telling them that you don't like this particular place to go wash your car because that's exactly where they're going to take it i'm telling you family i got it i need y'all to hit this like button and i need y'all to really uh really help me get this information circulated because I, what i told you is people are out here experiencing this thing family and they don't know what's happening they don't know why the bird the duck with a cape on that's running around here with a cowboy bat a, a cowboy with cowboy boots on and and a, a construction hat they don't know that this bird is doing this on purpose they are doing it on purpose okay this is what they do is i'm telling you we are living in the last days and and a uh, and the listen, it's the it's the enemy's job to wear out the saints. I done told y'all that over and over again. He's not just trying to wear out the saints; he's trying to wear out the ain'ts too. You got a neighbor that you talk to. Neighbor is narcissistic. That is the new thing that's happening that the enemy is doing to the saints, putting the saints next to to narcissistic neighbors. I know some of y'all gonna be testifying about this in the comment section. Y'all need to hit that like button, please, family. You've been talking to the neighbor. Tell the neighbor. Y'all know the neighbor is weird. Y'all know something wrong with the neighbor. You tell the neighbor you go to bed at a certain time because you have to get up in the morning. That's the very time that the neighbor start banging on something, slamming cabinet doors and everything else. 
Cause you told them that that's the time you go to bed and you can't and you like you can't stand it when people like to keep up a lot of fuss when you're trying to sleep at night because you're a light sleeper. You just told you just gave that neighbor all kinds of information. I know it. I know you're out there living next to narcissistic uh, folks, birds. Okay, that like that they they wait right up and get right good until ten. It's a ten eleven o'clock at night when they know you getting ready to go. So, bam, boom, boom. They want to play the music. They want to get the guitar going. They want to get the drums going. I mean, family. These folks are crazy. This is what they do. Y'all gotta stop telling folks you listen. I told you stop telling them your business, but for real, you gotta stop telling them what you dislike. Stop, stop telling them that. Stop. Because every time you give them information like that, you are giving them information as to how to absolutely get next to you, how to ruin your day, ruin your week, and possibly your week. You, you, you gon' you go, I mean, they working off of that that negative energy already. They trying to get you down there to be miserable just like them. And if they know what you dislike. They can do, you have given them all the tools to do just that, family. So I wanted this, 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 listen, this message was burning in me. I had to come with this message this morning. It's Labor Day weekend, y'all. Have a good weekend. Stop telling people what you dislike. That ain't none of their business. It's none of their business what you dislike. Keep that to yourself. You learn. First of all, learn if they are a healthy person first. They are healthy enough to, to understand and know what, what you like and dislike without using it against you. Once you determine that, then it's okay to talk about that. But a lot of people bond over things that they don't like together. And these are toxic people. Stop bonding with people about over those things. You don't know if they are narcissists or, or not. Stop telling them that, okay, family? I love you all. I want you to be safe. Have a wonderful weekend, okay? Y'all be safe out here. Y'all know it's the holiday and everything. You make sure you be safe and you're taking your safety precautions out here, okay, family? I love you all. May y'all bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you, okay, family? Until the next video, I will see you all at the top and I'll see you all on the next video, okay? Shalom. Peace, family.